Okay, this is how to trim a donut. And a donut that I cut off the bat very unevenly. So it's gonna be a bit of a challenge to level it out. So I'm gonna start off with my leather hard donut. I'm going to flip it upside down. So this is the curved side that I threw and used my metal rib to make round. Now I have to make this side round because it is flat from where it was sitting on the bat. So I'm gonna use my needle tool here, but also I'm gonna use the rings on the wheel head to kind of center this as well. So I'm scraping here, gonna give it a little push. Once I've got it centered, I'm gonna pin it down. Make sure to stay out of the area of here because I will be shaving all of this to round it to match the curve of this side. Give it a test to make sure it's not gonna wiggle. And then I'm gonna start by leveling this off from where I cut it unevenly on the bat. So I am just shaving right now the tall parts that did not get wired off. I just do that by holding my hand still and just letting it hit that tall part. Start rounding this corner now to match the other side. The hard part about trimming a donut is you don't really know what the other side looks like. You kind of have to just remember and then guess and check. So I will probably end up having to come back and trim this again after I see the other side and get it closer to matching. I'm also gonna shave this inside to get it rounded. And this is also why you wanna make sure your donut is plenty thick enough so that you can be kind of aggressive and get this to be all the way round. I'm gonna switch to my bigger blade now so I can kind of get smoother lines. Also probably going to use my metal rib here make sure it's clean so that I can kind of soften and round it because this is how I did to the other side when I was throwing it So now I am gonna remove this clay here because sometimes you get a little bit of an edge right here. I'm gonna look at the, this is the edge I was talking about, but now I can look at the donut and kind of see if the sides match or not. And to be honest, they actually are pretty close. I just need to get rid of this uh, edge right here. So I am going to do that. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water down to help make it stick actually. And I don't really want to make lines, so I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it here in the center. Kind of just feel with my finger. So right here is the part that's hitting, so I'm gonna give it a little scooch. Almost. 
almost there. Okay, so I've got it stuck kind of, and now I can just kind of adjust that little point that I had with my rib. Or I could use a trimming tool and pin this down, but I'm trying to show you some different ways to do things, as long as you do it delicately. Okay, now I'm gonna check and see. All right, I look like I got rid of that ridge and it looks pretty symmetrical to me. I might maybe go a little bit more, but you get the idea. That's how you trim a donut and then clean up your lines. <laughs>